end of the day, if I'm if I'm wealthy, you know how much I could do to uplift, you know, God's kingdom. Yeah. You know how many, you know what I'm saying, you know how many homeless people I can get off the streets, get them institutionalized, True. True. not and not institutionalized by putting them in jail, mm-hmm. but getting them help. Because a lot of these people, that's all they need, man. They need help. Literally. No, no, you're speaking real on that. Literally. They, they, they need help from a mental aspect. They need help from a physical aspect, getting them off of drugs. Mm-hmm. All the, You know what I'm saying? All of the things that hold the black community down. Ooh, Paris, it's crazy. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, welcome back to Lavish Journey Podcast. It's your host, King Lavish, over here. And I have a special, special guest here today. My boy, oh, Lord, it's oh Paris. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Hey. Yeah, you already know. It's, uh, it's Paris checking in one time. You know what I'm saying? Came in here to do this uh, interview with a longtime friend. You know what I'm saying? We done, we go way, way back. You know what I'm saying? It's been what? It's already been almost like six years, seven years since we've been out of school. Oh, dang. Right? <laughs> it's been seven years since we've been out of school. You're right. Just about. I think. Yeah, I know. Hey. Oh. Yo, man. <laughs> yo, hey, it's going, bro. Most definitely. Most definitely. Man, that's great. So what's been up, man? What you been up to? Man, listen. i just been working. Um, it took me a minute to like really find myself as a person. Mm-hmm. So that's that's just first and foremost, you know, as we graduate high school, everybody go through their first several right, years right. of finding themselves in the adult world. This is no longer, you know, high school. So, mm-hmm. you know, working and stuff. And I know I told y'all about it a little bit, but, you know, uh, being in high school, my mom, right. she got diagnosed uh, with multiple sclerosis mm. by the time we uh, we hit junior year. So, for junior and senior year, I spent pretty much 95% of my time taking care of moms. And it was like, the times that y'all didn't see Patrick, Mm -hmm. which is my real name, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) (laughs) When y'all didn't see me, it was like, oh yeah, I'm I'm at home taking care of moms. And then, you know, that went on for a nice little while. But now, you know... I'm an adult. <laughs> I respect that. Respect it. A real adult. So you know, it's time Feel, to do some. It's feeling good. Yeah, time to. It's time to do. It's time to turn it up a notch. You know what I'm saying? Like the music thing. I've been doing it for a while, so mm. you know we about to touch into that. And like I said, you know we we grown now, so it's like it's definitely time to get to work. It is do man. some things. It is. It is man. So what you do with the music, man? Okay. Well. First and foremost, just so everybody know, um, I'm a music producer. That's totally different than being a beat maker. We gonna get that understood right now because okay. everybody everybody has this like thing that producers and beat makers are one and the same, and mm-hmm. that's wrong. True. Beat makers are the dudes that sit behind a computer all day and make. Lil Wayne type beats, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wiz Khalifa type beats, and then throw them jots on uh, on YouTube, right. and then you know wait for people to use them and get as many likes and watches on YouTube as as much as they can and get as many people as right. they can to use them beats. Whereas me, who is a producer, mm-hmm. we know how to sit down with an artist. We can develop an artist if we really really wanted to, and we right. took the time to. Uh, we also know more in depth about music so mm-hmm. nine times out of ten most real producers know how to play at least one right to several instruments me personally i uh knew how to play the piano and the drums and i'm right. pretty sure y'all all got to experience yeah, that yeah yeah yep. high school <laughs> that's good man yeah. well-rounded pretty i mean you know it, it stemmed from church mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying i am a church boy you know a lot of people will be uh, ashamed to to admit that uh, to admit that, but right. I'm one of them type of people. The Bible tells me I don't have to be ashamed no, of uh, never, never. being a Christian and being a follower of Christ. So never. that's one thing I always make sure I help people understand. Like, man, I I worship God, you know. So and in my spare time, I just happen to make <laughs> music. Yeah, exactly, bro. <laughs> so like, when do you start making music? Like, what year was it? You said. Um. I started making music 
back in I started in like late 2010. Mm, okay, okay. Um but I really really didn't start doing something like heavy with it right until 2011 the year that we graduated. Yeah, that's when I, I bet. yeah. That's when I like really kind of like started getting into it like oh yeah, like I like making beats. Right. I like doing this. And it was a push cuz like my grandpa mm -hmm. he um he used to manage a group that later on down the line back in their day yeah. became uh what we know today as the OJs. Word. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? It's in your DNA, like, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the blood for I real. Feel it, man. And then like, you know, my uncle, he um he was a uh, music producer for Bone Thugs and Harmony for mm -hmm. a little second. Okay. Uh he went by Thin C. So, you know what I'm saying, you know, in your spare time you can right, y'all right. can go look him up just just to make sure, you know, that I'm not lying. Yeah. And then you can go look on Facebook too. And you'll 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 see he was in Jet magazine and all that stuff, man. So Word. He, yeah, he was a big, big inspiration to me. Uh, he honestly, he was the reason and why I even started making beats to begin with. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I could go ahead and break down a little story. Go ahead, story. bro. Go ahead. Um, so, shoot, he had just got back home from Cali. Um, he was doing some stuff with uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. And came home for a little second, you know, to visit the family mm -hmm. and see how everybody was doing. And, you know, he brought me upstairs because in the attic, right. it was this room that was always locked with mm -hmm. a padlock mm -hmm. and never could get in it. You right. know what I'm saying? And we always wondered like, bro, what is in that room? Like, you know what I'm saying? Me and all my cousins, we, every trip always used to be like, hey man, what's in that room? And one day, you know what I'm saying? We got to doing some stuff around my grandma's house and he was like, hey, come here. And I was like, all right. So he took me upstairs. So I'm thinking I'm in trouble or something. And he mm -hmm. was like about to, you know, go off on me. Right. And then he pulled out a key and unlocked the door, and I'm uh -oh. like, I'm like, oh shoot! Let I'm me like, go in. I'm like, what? Is, I'm like, I wonder what he about to show me, man. He opened up that door, and it was a whole studio set up, two right. twelve speakers, a uh, uh, um, a big speaker down at the bottom, mm -hmm. uh, and a whole rack. Like with channels and all that stuff, had a big mixing board. I think it was like at least twenty four channels, and a, a MPC sitting in the corner. Word. And keyboard set up, t uh, a, a little uh, computer, and you know during that time that was like, well, like I said, two thousand and ten. Mm -hmm. So at the time, it was like at really well two thousand nine, two thousand ten. Right. And at the time, you know, Windows was like the main computer. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mac was just starting to break into like being like a, a yeah. household yep. name and a household computer. Yep, so yep. it was like he had a Mac, but he made us use the the Windows computer, and uh, hopped on there and he introduced me to um, a doll program called Reason. Reason. Uh huh. And after he showed us, you know, like you, you know, you press record and you can just play whatever you're going to play. Mm -hmm. And then, you know what I'm saying? You go to, uh, you pull out another rack and it's literally set up like a rack. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like when you making your beats, mm -hmm. you literally are looking at a rack as if you was in the actual studio. Right. So it's like, right. it's really no different. Wow. Um, but yeah, man, he showed me how to use it, and then it went from me to my my cousin. Uh, he goes by Trill, mm -hmm. and then and that's his son. Um, and then my other cousin, he goes by OK Shay, um, which is my cousin I was telling you about. Who yeah, has been doing some crazy stuff on uh, Hell yeah. on uh, Spotify and on SoundCloud. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and we all just would be in the studio just. Going at it, eat it, man. Beat after beat after beat. You know what I'm saying? It, it would be countless of weekends and nights that we would be up till five, six o'clock in the morning just mm -hmm. making beats, and it would get to the point we was in there so long mm -hmm. and up so long. My grandma, she'd come up there the next morning and be like, "Y'all need to get this rest. Y'all need to, <laughs> you know, go go yeah. downstairs, go get some sleep, or you know what I'm saying, go eat or do something." Like, exactly. I. 
I did it early. I got the whole like being up a whole twenty four hours, a whole forty eight hours mm -hmm. early. Yeah. So it was like you know now, uh, I make a beat. I'll be up till like one o'clock in the morning, and that's like Easy. even when I gotta <laughs> when I gotta be to work. Yeah. That morning. And then I go lay down and be like, all right, I got to chill because if I'm up too late, I'm going to be tired by the time I go into work. But yeah, man, that was just like, that was that was the big moment mm -hmm. right there. And Dang. it just led up to now. <laughs> that sounds like a good moment. So, right, so that moment is like really what gave you that ambition to just, I, this is, I love this, this is what yeah. I want to do. And then it, it's funny though because like, it pushed me, but what really pushed me and what really made me, you know, really, really take this for real was after my grandpa passed away. Mm -hmm. um, my grandpa, he passed away in uh, the same year that we graduated. Literally, um, we graduated in June. Mm -hmm. And then right after that, um, right after we graduated, we actually went down for my aunt's uh, wedding. Right. Um, and that next month in July, I think it was like July, like around July 19th or something like that. Mm -hmm. It was like two weeks after, uh, Independence Day. Right. Um, my grandpa, you know, he was struggling with prostate cancer. So that's one thing to all the men out there watching. That's real. That's real. Make sure when you get old enough at this age, anywhere from 20s on up. I know it might sound weird. I know it might sound janky, but it is important that you go get yourself checked out. I don't care. It's a weird process that you got to go through. But even myself, because my grandpa had it and pretty much all my uncles had it, like his brothers, at some point in time, I'm going to have to go get checked. Because yeah, it's of like, course. you know what I'm saying? Man, I don't man. want it to ever sneak up on me and be like, ah, gotcha. So, but yeah, man, he, uh, he got diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer and... Pretty much after that, it just started spreading. Mm -hmm. It got it got into his bones, it got into his eyes, it got into his shoulders, and it just it consumed him. And uh, yeah, July nineteenth, he passed away. And after that, I uh, I sat down in the studio, and I'm not even like when I say I'm not even kidding. Like I can call up my cousin right now, and I can right. he can vouch for me yeah. and be like. We literally, I sat in the studio and I made this one beat and I was just sitting there thinking about my grandpa and like just, I was just, you know, you, you yeah. lose one that, that one person in your family exactly, that you really yeah. care about. You just be sitting there salty, just sitting there like, dang. And I just sat there and I ended up falling asleep mm -hmm. while the beat was playing. The beat looped mm. and played for like a hot <laughs> <laughs> a hot two and a half hours. So you were just sleeping the beat just kept on going kept, all night? Kept playing, just kept playing. Because mm. we, we stayed up, like, literally all night long. This is when I was still staying up, like, right. all night. Because it was like, we, um, my uncles and all my cousins from, like, pretty much close by was all at my grandma house. Like, we right. pretty much all kept my grandma company mm -hmm. right after he passed. Because it was just like, you know... That was our best friend, so you know what I'm saying? Like, course, especially back yeah. in the day, you know how it is with the old folks, you know what yeah. I'm saying? They be together, you know, Forever, 50, man. 60 yeah, years. Literally, literally. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they was together for forever, you know what I'm saying? And to lose your best friend, it was just like, ooh. So yeah, we all kept yeah. her company, and we, we was just up there doing the one-two, and right. I fell asleep. I was in the chair. They was on the floor. We was just knocked out in the studio from just working, and... Pretty much after that point, music just became everything. Exactly. Yeah. There was no other option. Like, at this point, mm. <laughs> if yeah. music don't work out, I'm chalked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck. Like, yeah. I'm stuck working a nine to five for the rest of my life, which is not happening. I was just about to ask you about that, man. Like, you plan on working nine to five for the rest of your life? Absolutely not. I don't blame you. Not either, bro. I work right now to do what I got to do, but... Fulfill to 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 basically fuel the fire of your dreams. I like that. That that's all. That's all a nine to five should be at this point. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I hate to say it, but you know, being the I'm I'm not gonna say a religious man because religious is too controversial. Yeah. yeah being sure. a spiritual man and being a follower of Christ, 
the world is getting way too crazy. And for real, for real, a lot of the stuff that we seen on TV as kids, like, you know what I'm saying, robots taking over our jobs yeah, and like, yeah. and we just become just humans and we just don't do nothing. Mm -hmm. It's becoming real. Yo, every day, man. Technology's taking over, man. Yeah. So it's, it's yeah. like in a minute, nobody's really going to have jobs. So what are you going to be doing? I know what I'm going to be doing. I feel it, man. <laughs> I'll be all over. <laughs> Y'all see what you mean, man. That's that's real. That's real though. Jobs starting to get taken up by technology, man, and people losing jobs. Man, so it's, it, it's, it's time it's, to invest in yourself. I'm telling you, man. Like everybody, everybody gonna find out eventually. Like you gotta find your niche. You gotta find the thing that make you just wanna wake up every day and be like, "Yup, I wanna do this." Definitely. Yep, yeah. I need this. I I, I wanna be a part of this. And music, like I said, when my grandpa passing away, music became that one thing. That was just like, yeah, mm -hmm. I need this in my life. Like, I want to do this. Right. And after it became a thing where it was like, yeah, I need to do this. It stopped being that. And it was just like, I am this. Like, there you go. I am music. Yeah. So it's like, for the most part. I hate to say it, y'all, for the people Don't that... Don't hate to say it, say it, man. You mean it, say it. Go ahead. For the people that know me as Patrick in high school, you might call me Patrick. I might respond to you, but I'm not going to lie. I'm so used to hearing Paris because, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, after graduating high school, I immediately, like, I just became one thing. And I went through several nicknames. I'm not going to go into all of them because okay. some of them was real, real embarrassing. So what, how, what did Paris, like, what led you on to that one? Um, I'm not even going to lie. Uh, me and, uh, I don't remember, I don't know if you remember uh, Ruben Cottingham. Oh, yeah, 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 yep, yep. Yeah, me and him, pretty much after we graduated, like, me and him hung tough mm -hmm. for, a, for a long time. Oh, that's tight. And we, uh... We used to sit up on Tumblr mm -hmm. all night long, Going. just blogging and blogging and mm -hmm. blogging. And I, me and him both kind of started to pick up a name low-key. Hey, shout out my man uh, Mills Peso. He just hopped on the screen real quick. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, we, uh, we were sitting up on Tumblr just blogging and blogging and blogging. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, one day... I started getting in contact with like all of these like major bloggers right. that was on Tumblr. For like, real? Yeah, like it was this one dude named uh, Glenn Brown, mm -hmm. and he was a, a fashion uh, designer slash artist right. in uh, in New York, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and he started making these T-shirts, and his whole thing was like power. Mm -hmm. And like the way he, the way his design looked, it was almost kind of like, um, kind of like Kanye West, almost in a sense, like the mm, little. But okay, he took it from the about. standpoint of like the heart. Yeah. You know the heart that he wore on this album for uh, "It Away the Heartbreaks." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he used right. like it was almost kind of like that, but mm -hmm. he, you know how we are this generation, we yeah. take things and we run with it and we finesse it our way. Hell yeah. So he did that and it was so raw to me. Word. Like I, I really liked his brand. And um, and uh, next thing you know, he made these one shirts after uh, Jordan. Mm -hmm. And it said, uh, it said power on the back right. and it said 45. And he had a white one. Mm -hmm. And a red one, and it was basically in a a thing that he did, showing like how that split second when Jordan came back to the uh, to the Bulls. Oh yeah, and he yeah. wore his brother's jersey uh, number uh, forty five. Forty five. Yep. Yeah. Crazy. So I was like, ooh, I'm like, this yeah. is so hard. So I ordered them. Mm -hmm. And I had both of them, and I just used to wear them all the time. I had got hip to so much fashion being on Tumblr. Like, bro, I was ordering clothes and from from companies that if I named them or if yeah. I even, like, tried to explain it, y'all be like, man, what? Like, Hold on. Who is See, that? See, I've never been on Tumblr, so you can buy stuff off there, too? No. Like, oh, okay. Tumblr just was a good way mm. um, for the moment mm -hmm. to, like, get yourself out there mm. to get yourself noticed in a blog fashion right you're your own blogger yeah yeah so 
you can come from a music standpoint, you can mm -hmm. come from an art standpoint, you can come from uh, interior design, mm -hmm. whatever whatever your niche is, you literally can come from that angle, whatever angle it is. Wow. And literally, it was just going. Like, at the time, like, it was so many people on Tumblr, people was getting famous off of Tumblr. Like, it was nuts. And I was I I was on Tumblr talking to these people because mm -hmm. they had it was this little thing that everybody was using called Tiny Chat, mm -hmm. and it was like pretty much it was pretty much like a a, a website version of uh, uh what's the the thing that they uh, use uh, Skype. Oh, oh web, yeah yeah okay website yeah. version of Skype, and we would literally sit there, bro, and just back and forth. Everybody on their screens, and I had this one. I had just got my Mac, right? So I'm sitting there, we all talking, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We BSing and right. all that stuff. So I'm literally talking to these people on screen with these people that are, you know, hundreds of thousands of followers. That's what, yeah. And it was just raw to me. And then I don't know what's the name of that that thing called again? Tumblr. Oh, that so this all happened on Tumblr. Yeah, Tumblr. but then. Like I said, uh, the other ones, yeah. the Tiny Chat. Tiny Chat, yeah, okay, okay. So it was like, you had Tumblr and you had Tiny Chat, uh -huh. and you was just bouncing back and forth, back and forth on both Man, of them. I was not hip. Yeah, brother, I'm telling you. I was you, not hip. Brother, and I ain't gonna fake. Sorry, babe. It was so many girls on there, man. <laughs> I got that's where I got into a lot of trouble. That's where I met a lot. Yeah. A lot of girls, man. Like I met so many females, but all my relationships were like all internet based. Mm -hmm. So it was like I was meeting these girls off the internet and it was just like getting like serious with them right, and like right. trying to start up a relationship with these girls <laughs> through the internet. And I'm just like I'm chopping these girls down, bro. Yeah. Like I'm doing everything with them. And it was just like eh. Like now, now that I look at all that stuff, now I'm just like, man, what was I doing? Like, bro, what, all what if I got it, catfished? Like, <laughs> possibility, man. Like, what was I? What if I was getting catfished? Like, what would I have done if I would have met? Like, now the only one girl that I do remember mm -hmm. that like I like saw her face, like she wasn't scared to Facetime me mm -hmm. or nothing, was right. this girl named Sam that I had met. She was from the West Coast, right, from Cali, and. She was, she was, you know, she was good looking or whatever. And at the time, it was like, I was so thirsty to be in a relationship, bruh. I was just doing whatever. And man, me and her would be up on FaceTime right. all night long, just chopping it up. She would be doing whatever, mm -hmm. you know, talking to her son or, yeah. you know, talking to her friends and stuff and talking to me. Right. But I don't know. I Stuff just fell off and I was just like, yeah, all right, whatever. Yeah, you know? yeah, I'm blaming. Exactly. But... Yeah man, life, wow. life after I'm, <laughs> life after I opened up that book uh -huh. on Tumblr, life just got Tumblr crazy. Though. Yeah, man, I always heard of it, but never, you know what? Dang, that's all I gotta say. Yeah, no, nah, cause Tumblr dead now. <laughs> oh yeah, no, oh, hell yeah, every man, so much stuff come out nowadays every other month. It's too many. First of all, I mean, mm -hmm. now that making your own website has become so more accessible to the public. Very. What do, what do I need Tumblr for? Exactly. I can make my own blog, or if I don't know how to necessarily make it myself, mm -hmm. I can literally have somebody that I know who's good at coding. True. That's true. Make me a website and have my own blog. You exactly. don't need that now. No, no. You, you hop on Instagram, and exactly. I'm a blogger. You know what? That's about to ask you, man. So with your beats and everything, doing music, how do you promote yourself? How do you promote your brand? Um, For the moment... I've been just, I, well, here, let me take it back. Go ahead, take it back, man. I I started off just making beats, mm -hmm. and I didn't necessarily really get the understanding of um, marketing myself and, right. like, branding myself. Mm -hmm. So when I first started off, I started off as Paris Lane, and that's the part that I I didn't even break into. Mm -hmm. So the whole Paris thing came about because being into fashion and being exposed to it on Tumblr, right. I started learning so much about fashion to the point that I just, like, I couldn't contain it all. Like, I was just telling everybody about the stuff that I was, like, finding out about. Right. And people was looking at me like, man, what is you talking about? I'm going to name a couple brands and it's going to, my, my case in point, is going to be right in it. Okay. Uh, Givenchy. Mm. 
a lot of people now you said mm, you said because yeah, mm, yeah. you already know it that exactly. you know what it is exactly you know what I'm saying but yeah. the thing is a lot of people didn't know about Givenchy yeah. at first you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. um, Coco Chanel mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying Coco Chanel has always been around but is nowhere near as popular as it is now as it was back then at the time when people was really starting to do things like on the fashion side like she made sneakers a lot of people don't know she got sneakers right and they're dope they're fire i can't wait to give me a pair of some coco chanel sneakers because they're hard yeah another one balenciaga you know for everything i'm keep, telling you keep listen. on going down the line <laughs> balenciaga yeah. Ballman. Pierre Bauman. So it's like, you know, these and these are just small. These are the, the f- other than Coco Chanel, mm-hmm. Balenciaga, and uh, Pierre Bauman. These are names that have just become relevant mm-hmm. to the streets and to, like, I guess, rappers and all of them just within the past, you know, several years. Mm-hmm. Because before then, you know, everybody was still wearing true religion and yeah, yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I'm getting hip to all this fashion that's overseas. All the stuff that they wear overseas. So all these thousand dollar pair of jeans, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Five hundred dollar t shirts. Oh, hip way ahead of time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been hip. So when everybody started wearing it, I'm like, boo, you guys are lame. <laughs> like I've been God, hip. Man, did it. That's, <laughs> Bruh, that's lit. Like uh in Noir is mm-hmm. another company a lot of people aren't hip to. Yeah, I never heard of them. Ale- Alexander Wang, another co- a Japanese guy, Rick Owens. Um, Alexander McQueen even though Alexander McQueen he been had stuff out it's just his stuff didn't really start going True. super 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 crazy until he died so it's like all these brands that I just named off man I like get hip. I gotta get hip You, I mean but the thing is though you don't really necessarily have to because now it's so many people who make their own clothes who make that's why I do make, notice yeah they look just like the stuff that you get yeah you know what yeah. I'm saying? So you can go like it's a it's a guy that I'm uh that I got hip to too. Uh he named his brand Embellished NYC. Mm. The same biker jeans that you can get from Pierre uh Pierre Bowman. Right. That's gonna run you about twelve hundred dollars. You can spend a hundred and thirty five and get you some embellished NYC. Word. And still look You know, I noticed that a lot of people are starting their own clothing brands, like a lot. That's like a big thing right now. <clears throat> big because, thing right now. It's because the thing is clothes is becoming such a supply and demand mm-hmm. feel. And that's where the whole Paris thing came from. Cause I'm like, man, for real, for real, the fashion capital is Paris. Mm-hmm. If a lot of people don't know. So, just in case y'all don't know that, the fashion capital is Paris. Don't be fooled by when they say, oh yeah, the fashion capital of the world is uh, New York. No, it's not. It's Paris, then New York. Just about Okay, that. okay. Throwing facts. But, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Other than that, you know, that's where the Paris part came from. I, my original name was Paris Lane. Mm-hmm. Um, the Lane part came from just having my own lane, having my own sound, and just kind of like branding myself to be unique. Right. Um, over the last, uh, two and a half years, because me and my wife have been together three. Awesome. Uh, awesome. outside of getting married. Um, within that time period that I met her and, mm-hmm. you know, we started building our relationship. That's when I changed my name over to just, Oh Lord is Paris. Cause my tag has always said, Oh Lord is Paris, mm-hmm. but it didn't That's actually crazy. like ring out mm-hmm. until like one day I was just sitting there and um I was just like man I'm like Paris Lane is it's, it's too long man I feel like it's catchy but it's it, mm-hmm. it's gonna take people way too long to try to figure out Paris Lane Paris yeah. Lane like I was just like eh. so then one day I just went on Instagram and I just changed everything and I just changed it all to oh lord it's Paris hey and then <laughs> After that, mm-hmm. that's when it just took off and it just started going crazy. Like everybody just like, oh lord! Like any any yeah. place that I go, that people know me from the music side and mm-hmm. the music aspect, everybody, be, oh lord! That's why I say, oh lord! Yeah, like <laughs> I like that. It, it, but and it's crazy yeah. because I'm glad that you did that. Only mm-hmm. because it's like I have to get used to that because mm-hmm. for a while I could not get used to it when I would go 
places and people would see me and they'd be like, oh, Lord. Yeah. I, like, I started, like, cheesing. I'd be like, hey, you got to chill, bro. Like, why is you doing that? Like, you exactly. being embarrassing. And one day I was talking to one of my homies and he was just like, hey, man, listen. He was like, your name is Oh Lordis Paris, right? And I'm like, yeah. He was like, hey, bro, you got to embrace that. Exactly, man. Like, you can't run from that. Just like, you know what I'm saying? Your brand is la- Lavish. Lavish Journey. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So if somebody can come up to you, hey, what's good, Lavish? Yeah. You can't be like, um, my name's Justin. Nah, you know, I embrace I'll- it every time. <laughs> yeah, call me Lavish. King Lavish. King, <laughs> hey, uh, hey, King Lavish. <laughs> Go ahead with it. Embrace it. I-, I feel it, though, man. Definitely embrace that. I like that, though. Man, listen. You got to I- drop what you think. You, like a... Like a uh, you know, usually people uh, add that. I've got to, don't quote me on the terminology, like a drop today beats or whatever. Uh, I, uh, uh, they call it a tag. A tag, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. You got one of those? Actually, I got two of them. Oh. Yeah. It's going you know, on. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, on the music side, uh-huh. once I rebranded myself yeah. and made myself Oh Lord is Paris, like, just as a whole, that's when things kind of started to change mm-hmm. and kind of shifted. And I noticed the difference in my energy too when I when it came to making beats. Right. Um, it took me a minute to adjust because I I used to smoke, mm-hmm. so you know what I'm saying I I had to make some transitions because um, after getting engaged, um, shortly <laughs> very after, <laughs> my wife uh, well yeah my wife now she uh, she found out she was uh, pregnant mm-hmm. and um, you know I smoked. Out of bag like <laughs> 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 an unbelievable amount of bag yeah. and it just got to the point where I was just like yo this is nuts I'm getting way too high way too often oh I'm about to say way too high yeah but way it, too how, many, how much were you smoking bro man I, I'm not even gonna lie like I had a job at a car dealership um, oh yeah it was big and man. I got paid every week so pretty much every time I got paid I was spending $20 every day and yeah, you was going through it. Yeah. And it got to the point where, you know what I'm saying, my wife, she was just like, yeah, I need you to stop. And you need to stop before this baby get here because you're not about to be smoking that's that in, in, in my house with this baby. And I was just like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I kept blowing it off, but you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I quit because mm-hmm. it's like sitting back and watching everybody now they be doing some fried stuff. Like, I be, like, looking at everybody that be smoking weed, like, y'all. So they be doing more than just that now, man. Yeah, not even that. Yeah, well, yeah, because that this, say, this, lean, this lean epidemic got to stop, man. Exactly, exactly. Y'all got to stop drinking lean. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, what I, are you talking about, stop drinking lean? <laughs> and it's like, bro, y'all going to be looking at me crazy, but at the end of the day, bro, it. you're drinking cough medicine, and you're not exactly. sick. All you doing is literally killing yourself. Look at, man, if y'all want an example, look at Wayne. Oh, oh, yeah. Look at Lil Wayne and Rick Ross. Rick Ross was about to be up out of here because he he didn't want to stop drinking lean. And he not even that fat no more. Rick Ross done slammed down drastically. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Don't think just because, oh, well, I'm healthy. I'm cool. I work out every day. I do it. Man, listen, those are chemicals mixed together to help your body and do what it's supposed to do for your body to help you stop coughing mm-hmm. not for you to just be drinking sociably exactly that's true so it's like I agree man y'all can keep drinking lean if you want to though but uh I hate to be that person but I'm not gonna feel bad if you uh if something happened to you yep they know they know what's up man but they don't listen until something real happens man when something real happens that's when they listen up sometimes sometimes and sometimes sometimes cause then you know what I'm saying next thing you know you mm-hmm. look up and you know, you got people who die unexpectedly. Like, yeah. I will say, you know, being in the music industry, even though I've never met him, I had, you know, I had intentions mm-hmm. on working with him. Right. And it's funny because I had just came across his music, and then, unfortunately, he ended up passing away from complications of uh, Xanax, mm-hmm. which uh, the other drug that everybody be doing now, yeah. Z- Xanny, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, and using lean. Uh, his name is Little Peep. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? You can... Yeah, you can look him up yeah, later yeah, on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Listen to him. You might not necessarily care for his music, but he definitely was a person that I was interested in working with. He did um, what they called emo emo trap. Emo trap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he even though I've gotten corrected 
right. <laughs> from it, from people who actually listen to this kind of music. Mm-hmm. Um, he took, like, he would take songs from, like, uh, Green Day Bay. Yeah. And then, like, would take a certain part of the song, mm-hmm. and then, like, whoever the producer was, they would, like, make it trappy. And like add eight oh eights to it. Oh, you yeah. know what? I heard some on YouTube. Yeah, yeah so yeah. it's like you know they was doing that, and for real, for real, mm-hmm. it got to the point where a lot of cats, you know, got hooked onto it. But the thing is, with him, mm-hmm. he suffered from depression, and mm-hmm. like many people, I suffer from depression too. I suffered from it for a very long time after my grandpa passed away. Mm -hmm. And music was, like, pretty much my only outlet. Because outside of that, like, I had some very deep, dark thoughts. And a lot of it, I never acted on it. I never, like, I never did anything crazy behind it. But Mm -hmm. depression is definitely one of those things, like, you know, if you don't have something or someone mm-hmm. to, like, help you get through it, it can push you into a very dark corner and a very dark place in your life to where, unfortunately, some people, you know, they commit suicide or they overdose on drugs because of the use, the over, you know, the over usage of those drugs trying to overcompensate for those feelings that you have. Right. So it's like, I, I, I hate that he passed away the way that he did because... Like I said, he was one of those artists I had literally just, like, got hip to his music. And I'm like, oh, this dude raw. Yeah, like, yeah. And he a white dude. He was a white dude. Word. Yeah. Go on. Like, he, was chi- <laughs> he was super trippy, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? He had the, the fingernail polish and mm-hmm. everything. You know what I'm saying? Like a real rock star. Right. And then next thing you know, like, maybe a couple weeks later, he uh he ended up passing away. And I was just like, dang, like, I kind of want to work with you, bro. But... You just took that chance away from right, me, but right. at the end of the day, it's cool because, you know, everybody has their own time and, you know, God has a plan for each and every person. So Always. You can't, you know what I'm saying, you can't really change the uh, the way time and space works. You have to just kind of go with the flow. Literally, man. Just go, go with the flow and keep it going, man. Most definitely. We can't predict everything. No, we, we can try, but... We can try. <laughs> it ain't gonna get you much of nowhere. <laughs> exactly, man. That's why I say, man. Just li- live in the moment, man. Live in the moment. Most definitely. Of course, you got. Of course, you going to want to plan for the future, but at the end of the day, you got to live in the moment. A lot of people, you can't be too stuck in the future because it's not promised. Not at all. I promise, man. The ne- tomorrow's never promised. Exactly. exactly. I, respect, I respect it, though, man. But I'm going to ask you a few questions, all right? And you can answer them to the best of your ability. All right. All right. The first question is, what's the first thing you think about when you wake up in the morning? Uh, I I have to be honest. I I, I have to read my word. I have to get mm-hmm. into my Bible. And, okay. And thank God for letting me even wake up. Exactly. And, you know what I'm saying, see a brand new day. Um, after that is uh, hustling and bustling, trying to get ready for work. <laughs> <laughs> really, at least you start off. Hey, that's a good note to start off with every day, man. That's really good. Yeah, I, 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 I have to, and I, like I said, I have to be real with myself on that. Like, yeah, and real with you know the people that are following me and watching me. I, I have to, I have to get up and read that Bible. If I don't read my word in the morning, and get, you know, what I'm saying, get that word of the day mm-hmm. in my spirit. It it definitely shows and it affects my my day. So, yeah, first thing I think about when I get up is uh, praying and reading my scripture. I respect that. Okay, got another. This one a weird one. If animals could talk, which one would you talk to the most? Uh, that's an interesting question because yeah. I ain't even gonna lie. I uh. There's a lot of animals that I it, like. It is, man. Which one we talk to the most, though? The most. You're going to sit down and just talk to every day. Um. All right, now, I have to I have to rebuttal this with another question. Like, is it, like, is it going to be, like, is it going to be able to attack me if it's, like, an animal that got claws and teeth you, and stuff? You can answer this any way you want to answer it, bro. And I ain't going to fake, though. <laughs> I, I kind of want to know what it's like to live the life of a lion one time. Just... Just cause they, just cause they the king of the jungle, and they like. Yep. You ever see like when you go to the zoo, you ever like, see them things up close? Yeah. Bro, the lions ain't no joke. Bro, like <laughs> I, we went to the Akron Zoo. We take our daughter. We took our daughter to the Akron Zoo, mm-hmm. like for the second time, cause the first time she was still like in the stroller. She right. really couldn't walk or right. nothing. 
bruh, we went to the Akron Zoo and seen them lions up close. I'm looking, I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, nah, it's over for you, bro. If you get caught in Africa, man, you go walking through the safari. It's over. Oh, for it's you. a wrap. It's, <laughs> no, you know what? It's a wrap. Your life is done. Hey, you, you ain't, you ain't gonna live from that one. Yeah, no. Nah, nah. You can try to run, but it's it's slow for you, brother. They, they meat eaters too. Yeah, it's they, a wrap. They they paws are the size of your head, bro. Yeah, I did see it. Yeah, they put that one, put their paw on the window, and I was looking like, dang. Oh yeah, no, he's smacking your whole head off. Yeah, yeah, for you. literally, literally. <laughs> <laughs> it's You're lying, for bro. You. That's a good one though. Okay, uh, what skill would you like to master? Engineering. Oh. Engineering, uh, engineering music. I have been trying so hard to find somebody to help me get the basics of it yeah, 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 down. Yeah. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Just so I can like eventually build my own studio and then like people can start coming to me to record and yeah. then not only are you gonna be getting recorded by Old Lord's Paris mm -hmm. but then you also be gonna be catching that flame from these beats by Old Lord's Paris. <sighs> you're trying to do it all but you're gonna do it all not I, trying to you're gonna do it all oh, yeah man. most definitely because ain't nothing gonna stop me from learning it it's no. gonna it's gonna it's gonna turn me into such of a monster because mm -hmm. it's gonna be like man you know how to make crazy beats and you can engineer mm -hmm. and that's gonna be the part that's gonna really like get people to rock with me even more because it's people that be asking me like hey you know the engineer right and every chair i'll just be like no sorry it's gonna be there soon yeah yeah soon, I, I ain't tripping i i i have to do some things as far as my life to get myself adjusted of course so i can make those provisions mm -hmm. i still want somebody to kind of show me like the basic ins and outs right because everything else you know we can youtube it yeah but, like yeah, i yeah. just want the basic ins and outs give me the soft touches and then I can go around that and clean it all up and do whatever I need to do. Because I'm going to put my own touch and feel on it. I just right. want to know the basics of yeah, it for real, yeah. for real. That's why I want to produce. I tried to produce like two years ago. I brought like the machine too. <laughs> you know, my dumb ass right there spent all this money. Like, hey, I'm going to go home. I'm going to do it because the guy did it so easy at Guitar Center. He was just going. I was like, I can do that. Man, I went home. Nah, mm -hmm. I respect y'all, man. <laughs> yeah, and I sat there like for at least three days, about literally about probably ten hours a day, and I was like, "This ain't for me." Yeah, it's not for everybody, it's man. Not, man. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's really a love and a passion, bro. If you don't have that love and that passion for it, yeah, you gonna easily. Cause I'm gonna tell you now, the formula that I that I have now. Mm -hmm. psh, a solid two hours, but that's only because of the simple fact that I go behind and I like. I I'm pretty much mix it down enough to where if I play it in the studio, right, it sound clean even though I ain't really mixed down nothing. Like mm -hmm. I just did some basic stuff, but for real, for real, maybe every bit of thirty minutes on a beat, mm. and I'm trying to like cut that down that time down more and more. Yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? Get faster and faster with making beats because in this industry, a lot of these cats like they be wanting them beats like. Now, yeah. like, run it like I need it all like right now and if you yeah. ain't got it I'm about to just go to the next producer because they gonna do it way faster than you mm -hmm. and like it kind of sucks because a lot of these you know a lot of these producers they use uh, a program called uh, FL or Fruity Loop yeah yeah that's right here so you know what I'm saying they come through they'll make it be in like five minutes and yeah. they just be like yeah. bloop 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 and then you just be like oh this nigga just made a whole heartbeat in like five minutes. You you, you use that or? Actually, my uh, my one homie named uh, Kigdo, mm -hmm. and actually my homie Mills, and pretty much everybody that I know around me, other than me and my cousins, all use FL. Okay, yeah. So I it's like it. you know what I'm saying I know how to use it. Right. I know I I definitely know how to use it. I just I don't because that's not the doll that I grew up using like I oh i feel using it. reason yeah and reason is what i know how to use and a lot of people actually respect me for being able to use reason only because of the simple fact they're like man you must really know how to play for real and then i get to playing like one time i played the piano and they was looking at me and they was like oh bro you oh yeah you got it bro you raw exactly man and i'm like hey you know I'm 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 trying, but I'm really not trying. Like I'm just you know playing little stuff here and there. But yeah, FL FL gets you an advantage because niggas be in and out one in, one two. Yeah, yeah, I know a few producers and uh, they be on the laptops and they literally do set their probably realistically about 20, 20, 30 minutes did a beat that that quick just do 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 
Man, he's like, I can do another one. He did like two in like two in like 30, 40 minutes. And I'm over thinking in my head like, man, what? Yeah. Like, how you do that? I, I don't know, man. I asked him the same thing, but yeah, I don't man. know nothing about producing, man. You just got me hip to a lot of stuff because I was lost in sauce. I still am. I respect y'all, man, because that's a lot of hard work and dedication to do that. <sighs> You have no idea. The producer is the key to the music, man. Actually, it is the music. Think about it. Hey, the, and it's crazy because yeah. I just seen a video yesterday. This dude was like, he was amped and he was kind of turned up. And I I, I kind of, I, I felt him though because it is something that us as producers, we do need to do a better job of doing. He was like, man, he was like, y'all producers need to stop being scared of these artists and like mm -hmm. make them pay y'all for what y'all worth. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all let these artists get away with paying y'all pennies. Exactly. For them to turn around and go make millions off of the music that you're, you know what I'm saying, that you're helping make. Mm -hmm. And he was like, and it's just dead. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like your beat's worth 500, tell that nigga, like, bruh, exactly. run that 500. No free beats. No cheap beats. And it, But you know what? <laughs> What's up? I can't even say no free beats because no free, a oh. lot of the music that I have huh? been making, has, yeah. I just gave them to the... To the artist. So you do that like for networking purposes or like? Yeah, I mean, my uncle, he told me, you know what I'm saying, like not every transaction is always going to involve money. Sometimes, oh, nah, nah, you know, sometimes nah. transactions come with a price of learning Yeah. and trial and error, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. So it's like I had to get to a point in a place where like don't think like just because, you know, you get a couple of artists, oh, yeah, that automatically guarantees, like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, he going to pay you every time. Like, sometimes mm -hmm. he'll pay you, sometimes, you know, you don't get no money. Right. But at the end of the day, it's the exposure that you're looking for. Exactly. And that's what a lot of, that's what a lot of Cleveland artists, and I, I'm, I'm hoping we going to go touch on that because I definitely want to let Let's people go know. Ahead. Like, the Cleveland, the Cleveland scene is good for trying to make everybody you know what I'm saying? It seemed like they they don't have to pay. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you know what I'm saying? You from Cleveland just like I'm from Cleveland. And you do this just like I do this. So why should I have to pay you? Yeah. And it's like, um, well, let's see. Because one, I bought all this equipment. So that's exactly. one. And I got to keep being able to upgrade it and do the stuff, you know what I'm saying, that I need to do on mm -hmm. my end. And then two, because this ain't... I, I spend my time that exactly. I could be spending, you know what I'm saying, doing whatever I want to do, but I'm sitting here with you making beats or, you know what I'm saying, making your album or whatever you want to call right, it. Right. So it's like, bro, like, I need my money. And a lot of cats don't be wanting to pay. They be, man, well, how about we do this? How about we do that? And this one dude I used to go to, he uh, he had his own little studio or whatever. My bad, my eyes like giving me extra make, problems. Make, make so. one, it's my eye too, shit. <laughs> no, like, my eye really, and I wear contacts too, so oh, it's, like, yeah, it's yeah, really yeah, messing yeah. with me one time. Go ahead, do what you gotta do, bro. But yeah, like, you know, this one engineer that, um, that I was messing with, he like, I don't know, he kind of like steered me in a, in a direction where it kind of like, it made me mad because he was like, you know, well, why don't you charge people this? Like, he was trying to tell people how much I should charge people while they sitting right in front of me. Hell no. Nah. Like, I'll be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? My, my beats for at least is 50. Mm -hmm. He'll be like, he'll, they'll be like, dang, like, that, that's kind of steep, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, 50 for at least, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I can go to, I can, I can go to, uh, um, uh, Pyrex and, you know what I'm saying, get a, get a lease B for 25, well, mm -hmm. nigga, then go to Pyrex. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I mean, Pyrex definitely got way more clout than me as a Cleveland producer, so, right. I mean, yeah, that's fine. You know, if you chasing clout and you chasing everything else behind that, cool, you know what I'm saying, go to Pyrex. I'm not going to be mad at you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what's well, Sosa 808, another... Cleveland producer, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Sosa 808, he, you know what I'm saying? He only charged this, or he, you know what I'm saying? Or he, shoot, he just sent them to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, well then, you know what? Go ahead. Hop, hop in uh, <laughs> Sosa 808's DMs and go ahead and get that beat, bruh. Exactly. But over here, I'm not like all, I'm not like a lot of the Cleveland niggas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have a household that I have to feed. Yeah. I have a, a daughter exactly. at home, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That For is real. growing up progressively every day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, she already above average height for a, a one and a half year old. So, wow. you know what I'm saying? 
You go ahead and do what you got to do, but bro, at the end of the day, I need my money. Exactly, man. That's what it's about. For real. For real, man. These people out here just... Yeah, like you said, of course, sometimes, you know, you got to, you know, free, you got to get free beats for her to get out here, but it can't be all the time. Niggas got to eat somehow. You got to eat somehow. Luckily, right now, that's why I do have this 9 to 5, because this 9 to 5 is giving me my money, and mm-hmm. that's what's making it easier for me to just, and two, because that was also a shelter place that I was in my life. Right. And now I'm at this point now where I'm so open same man yeah i'm like bro i don't even care take this beat and if you use it you use it and if you don't oh well i'm yeah. sending it to somebody else and somebody Yo, else gonna try yeah. to it. like yeah. i'm not about to sit up here and waste my time and try to go back and forth on money and well i you know what i'm saying I, I need my payment first or i need this because a lot of cleveland people they a lot of cleveland artists i, I stop saying people a lot of they cleveland you. artists mm. You know what I'm saying? They really get to this place where they get to a certain point in their career as far as being in Cleveland. Mm. Oh, well, you know what I'm saying? I shouldn't have to pay for beats. Why can't you just give me some? And it's like, well, okay, whatever. Here, you want some beats? Take some beats. Here right. you go. And I don't be giving them no rinky-dink beats. Like, I be giving them some bangers. Some beat, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, if they work on it, cool. And if not, Oh, well, like, you know what I'm saying? There's plenty of other fish in the sea. I'm not about to sit here and, that's you know, real. cry yeah. about one artist. Like, it's 30,000 of y'all niggas that's walking around Cleveland. Exactly. Even if you pump faking and pretending like you want to be an artist, like, I'm not going to trip. Like, bro, go ahead and do what you do. Exactly. Um, It's plenty of other people. It's niggas that want to rap and really, really, like, real about this, that really want to do this, and they just looking for the right producer, and they looking for the right person that's going to take their time with mm-hmm. them and really work with them. And guess what? I will be that guy. Exactly. And I got all the plugs. So. Oh, it's going in. <laughs> You're good, I'm there, plug- bro. I'm yeah. plugged in in just about every studio in Northeast Ohio, bro. The only studio that I probably am not plugged into is the... 14 studio the um uh dj mj mm. his uh his studio okay so it's like the other than that i got a pass to bulkley mm-hmm. which is right down on uh off of prospect i got a i pretty much got a pass at uh clockwork which is right around the corner yeah yep, yep yep i've been there uh one of my homies uh that i just met to uh a new homie that i just met today mm. He literally right around the corner from you. Yeah. Um, and then you know what I'm saying. I don't, I would I probably I probably wouldn't say I, I ain't got I got a pass down at the Cultivation Theater because I haven't been down there in a while. But right. For the most part, I can get you plugged in down at the Cultivation Theater too. If you need, if you really really trying to get into some studio time, whatever. My homies over at North Coast, over in Maple. Um, mm-hmm. My homie uh, Adi Ray. You all and, over. And Will. And then my homie uh, out in Maple too, my yeah. uh, my homie Tone. It, it, bro, it's so many. It, it's so many people that's doing engineering right now. It's right. ridiculous. And the thing is, I have so many people that I can send you to. It don't really even matter. At this point, I just named off all these people. Now, I just now it just depends on all right now how much are you willing to pay for studio mm-hmm. time? Because that's what it's really gonna boil down to. Yeah. Because I just went from a range of fifty an hour mm-hmm. all the way down to like. 20, 25 an hour. So, oh, okay, you know okay. what I'm saying? You can take your pick in between in between there and right. whatever you end up doing, that's your choice. But at the end of the day, I can get you plugged in somewhere. It's just all a matter of like yeah. what you're going to do with it. Are exactly. you going to spend that money or are you going to, oh, no, I will. <laughs> Man, uh, you know what I'm saying? You, hey, you, you think you can record me? Because that's, they be trying, everything is free. Yeah. And it, it's, it's irritating, but yeah, like yeah. they ain't trying. I, they ain't trying to pick a quality. No, that's what it sound like for real. Not really. I, I, and and the thing is, they just be so thirsty to try to get a song out here because they, they think just because they be hearing all these other retarded songs that begin put out on the radio and stuff that mm. they that they song they retarded song gonna be the next one that exactly. can just yeah. blow up. And it's like, nah, bro, like you don't understand, like yeah, these cats been working and working and no, working they think that shit happened overnight. It doesn't. Never does actually. Shit. They always think, oh, well, he did it, man. He put in work to get there. He put there. in work. Even if it's one retarded song, bro, <laughs> trust me. He done probably made like 30 <laughs> mixtapes, bro. He done yeah. made like another 25 EPs. You're right, you're right. Putting them out, putting them out for free. Consistency, man. And, that, and that's what everybody be looking for. Because like now, like I said, with my name getting where it is, it's because I've been consistent. Like my name has been consistently popping up mm-hmm. around. Enough to the point like... Um, 
my cousin's uh, kid's father, mm -hmm. me and him was talking at his birth uh, at uh, at my little cousin's birthday party. Right. He was like, "Yeah, man." He was like, "You know, your name done been floating around EC, man. You know what I'm saying? I done heard your name come up a couple hey, times." Hey. And I'm just like, huh? I'm like, what you mean? He was exactly. like, no, he was like, niggas know your name out there, bro. He was like, niggas know about you in EC, bro. He was like, and trust me, he was like, if I ever, you know, if niggas like come my way and be like, hey, where can I get some heat? He was, uh, get some beats. I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna definitely send them your way. Yeah, bro. that's love. Like, Bet, go ahead, bro. I'm oh, with yeah. it. Hey, that's lit, man. <laughs> keep it going, man. Hey. It's you a, you it's gotta keep it. It's an every day, every day. I see you posting every day on on social media too, man. With your beats, I noticed that. If I'm not posting every day, I'm at least in my Insta stories trying to post something. Cause the thing is, yeah. that's what I. That's the part that this is the part that I just got into where it's like that's what everybody is looking for now. Everybody is looking for consistency. Man, they want to keep I seeing tell content. You. If you are not consistently posting content, they mm -hmm. are they slowly but surely become disinterested. They branch in who away. You are. That's why I post every day, man. Yeah, man, that's what made me like when you, when I seen your first post about having your you know your podcast. Mm -hmm. I was just like, I'm like, oh, that's just that way. Like, yeah, got man. Got a podcast on my way. You start doing this. Man, I just one day I was I used to I've, I've logged all summer and during the school year. I was just out in Columbia, man. I was like, you know, I gotta do something. Yeah, I, I gotta do something when I get back, and then um, I was just I was on YouTube and this one guy was podcasting. I said, like, you know what? A lot of people don't do that shit. I'm gonna do it, and then I brought the equipment. I, I jumped right into it and it started booming, man. And ever since then, it's just going. I've been booked up every week, bro. I I probably got thirty bills in my laptop right now, ready to drop, and I only uh, uploaded ten of them because you know it take ten hours each to edit it and to get all the sound together and Ooh. everything. Hey man, listen here. For everybody watching on my live and everybody, you know, that's going to end up watching this video, listen here. Yep. And the people that's listening. Understand, when it comes to a hobby, that's totally different from something that you are passionate about. Mm -hmm. And when you're passionate about something, you put your blood, sweat, and tears into it. Man, listen here. That's a fact. You know how many times I just said, I'm done making beats? <laughs> Bruh, you did. You kept going. I kept going, but it was so many times because I got tired of people not using my beats, people not calling me back or hitting me back up about beats and stuff that they that I sent out to them to use and stuff like mm -hmm. that, bro. I got so sick and tired of it. I was so ready to quit beats, bro. Like I was just about ready to sell my laptop, my speakers that I had just Damn. bought, and everything. Sheesh. And then next thing you know, I was just like. My wife was, no, not even me. My wife was like, no. She was like, you bought those speakers with your last $200 that you had in your bank account. That's real. That's real. And you've been doing this way too long. Exactly. She was like, it's only a matter of time before you get to that place where people are going to start noticing you. Mm -hmm. And she just kept speaking that to me, bruh. And I, I, I have to say, I really thank God for my wife because sometimes if it wasn't for her, I probably really would not be Oh Lord, his parents anymore. That's real. Be That's back real. To Patrick. <laughs> I'll, That's be, real, I'll be right back to Patrick. And it was just like, she gave me, she low key gave me that juice. And then mm -hmm. the one thing, the last time I was like going through it and I was talking about quitting, she was like, she was like, look at your daughter. And I just had to look at her for a quick second. And she was like, Imagine what your daughter would be if you stop uh if you stop making beats and stop making music. And I just was like deep. And she was like, You have somebody that is looking up to you and you are about to throw that all away. And I was just like, Okay. So I had to take a step back and I had to get real with myself, you know what I'm saying? Like I had to really check myself yeah. in that place, like, hey, look, I can't I can't just get this up because exactly. now, not only is it about my grandfather, you know what I'm saying, and the things that he left to us to uphold and keep going, mm -hmm. but now I have the next generation that's growing up right in my house. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Even with my little cousin, you know what I'm saying? Even with my other little cousin, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He's he's the next part of the next generation of my family. Right. Williams gang, you know what I'm saying? And we can't just... Let our dreams die and hell have no, them, man. 
leave them to nothing? Exactly. You got to leave behind that legacy, bro. Le- it's I'm- that legacy. That's why I'm grinding for now. Fucking legacy. I ain't going to stop. Oh, no. Because at this point, my yeah. daughter, she... Look, when I hop on that computer, uh-huh. she get pissed off. Uh-huh. Like, I'm like straight up. Like, my daughter, I wish I could record, like, a lot of part of my life. Yeah. My daughter will get pissed off. Like, when I hop on my computer and she's up, mm-hmm. like, that's why I can't even make beats when she's up no more. Because, mm-hmm. like, when I get on my computer, she, ain't it. she, ain't <laughs> ha- bro, she is right there, standing yeah. right next to me, like, uh, like, uh, bro, can I sit on your lap, please? Because I'm trying to watch what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to smack on the computer, too, uh-huh. and, and on the keyboard. Like, she was trying to do it all. So, it's like, now I have to just play with her until I put her to bed, and yeah. then I'll go and make beats. Yeah, man. You do what you gotta do. But at the same time, like, I love when she do that, because yeah. at the end of the day, I already know what's about to happen when she get older. Oh, yeah. When it, oh, yeah. By the time by the time she hit, like, two, three, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, it's over. Mm-hmm. It's straight over. Like, it's going all the way down. <laughs> it's going down. Piano classes, everything. Oh, wow. I feel it. Uh-oh. Your live ended? Yeah. You know, they only give you a certain amount of time. Word. Lives. Yeah. I thought live and go the whole time. No, they play you for real. You know, one time I was about to do live and just record it from that, but I'm glad I didn't know. I, I thought it was just, yeah. Oh, no, you would have been chalked. I would have been, <laughs> man, I would have been like, damn. <laughs> yeah, you would have been chalked. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, let me see if they let me go live again. Yeah, they, they will. You good. I about to say, because sometimes, you know, they don't play you. They'd be like, huh, he's going live for too long. Like, I'm actually <laughs> helping y'all off I'm going live. Right. That's real, bro. Because that's that's another thing. I started, I uh, I just started uh, using this thing. Huh? Get hip. What's it's called uh, Stockpile, bro. What's that? Stockpile. It's a, um, it's an app. You know, because the, the stock market is all digital for the most part now. Yeah. yeah. So, like, um, everything's, like, on your phone and computer and stuff like that. Yeah. Stockpile, I got introduced to Stockpile through uh, Snapchat. And it's literally just, like, an online stocking app. Oh, like trading, day trading? Is that what it's called? No, no. It's, it's, stock- it's literally called Stockpile. Mm. That's and different. You, and you can buy shares into a company. I bought... I actually I didn't buy. I um I watched a video and I won five dollars worth of shares uh for Apple. Mm. So now I yeah. own five dollars. Ooh, look worth at you of Apple. Hey, that's gonna pay off. Oh. Hey, believe it or not, that's gonna pay hey, off. But you know what's crazy? It's <laughs> already started to. I bet. I I went from five dollars uh-huh. to like four eighty nine mm-hmm. because. Apple like hit like a little plummet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bruh, one day I had like I had stopped checking it. And I went back on there to like mm-hmm. check it. Right. And this was like just actually not too long ago because you know they started running little campaigns for Mother's Day to try to get everybody yeah. to come in. Get your mom a, a Apple Watch or get your mom Oh, Apple. that's when it started to boost up. Yeah, cause you know that's how the fl- that's how the stock that's market a, works. Yep. When everything's down, that means nobody's really buying anything and stuff like that's that. That's when you buy in. That's yeah. where you actually buy the shares. Yeah, yeah. That, and that's what I did. I bought in while it was still low. Mm-hmm. Cause then by the time it went back up, man, it went up. The one day it went up like a whole twelve cents, mm. and like you know that stuff adds up when it's like some small little decimals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And man. I went from four dollars and ninety five cents mm-hmm. in my stock account. I'm at a whole five dollars and seventy cent. Damn, that quick? That quick. So that was like a whole dollar Man, and some change. I had to buy some more of those shares that I was you then. You say you paid five dollars for it? It was a free five dollars. Oh, a free. I, yeah, but you can that's the thing though. That's the lovely oh, part. Oh, you I can put you. your money on there. Yeah. So I, I, I had initially put like ten dollars and forty cents on there. Mm-hmm. So I still have a whole ten dollars. Right. To buy other stocks with. Oh, I get what you're doing. Yeah, bro. I'll have to That's show you the podcast over yeah. real quick before I leave, man. Like, it's... Listen here, everybody. <laughs> Let them know. Y'all want to y'all wanna, y'all wanna get rich? Stop trying to do all these, like, fake facade dreams. Stop trying to do the little, oh, yeah, I can... I can flip your. I was about to say that. Like twenty dollars, two hundred dollars, two thousand dollars. I can do two hundred and flip it to two thousand, man. Stop, stop falling for them gigs. Stop falling for the pyramid schemes, man. Go buy you some stocks. Go buy these companies that's buying you 
by putting stuff in the store and you buying it. Exactly. No, exactly. No, you, 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 you got to think macro when it comes to that stuff, man. You can't be a consumer your whole life and expect to get rich and get wealthy. Yeah, no. Nah, because I'm going to tell you right now, all of these, all the all the one percenters of the world, uh -huh. they, they are, they are, they're less more of consumers than we are. Mm -hmm. Yo, yeah, they are. Because the thing is, they yeah. first of all, they buy in bulk anyway. So mm -hmm. they're not buying anything at once at a time. They're right. buying things in bulk and they're just having it. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. And just having it and mm -hmm. then just having it some more and just having it. You know what I'm saying? Other than, you know what I'm saying, suits and stuff like that. You right. know, certain, certain items, you know, you just don't, you don't do that. Exactly. But for the most part, yeah, man, I, I, I had to start learning. That's, and for real, for real, mm -hmm. That's where my mind process changed too. Mm -hmm. I start. I had to start thinking like how these rich folk be thinking. <laughs> I'm not rich yet, but I'm gonna tell you right now. My 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 main my main yep. thoughts and the things that I think about. I think like a rich person because at the end of the day, that's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna be. Man, don't say rich. Say wealthy, man. Wealthy, yeah. yeah Riches yeah. that can come and go. Yeah. <laughs> wealthy. Yeah, you can be rich and then you end up broke. <laughs> hey, <laughs> tell them people. <laughs> Hey, it happens often, man. Uh, way too often. I'm I'm trying to be endlessly wealthy. I'm I'm trying to change the world. Exactly, man. Because at the end of the day, like you know, what I'm saying, as a Christian, you know, what I'm saying, we we that's not what we're supposed to chase after. But at the end of the day, if I'm if I'm wealthy, you know how much I could do to uplift, you know, God's kingdom. Yeah. You know how many? You know, what I'm saying, you know how many homeless people I can get off the streets. Get them institutionalized, True. True. not and not institutionalized by putting them in jail, mm -hmm. but getting them help. Cause a lot of these people, that's all they need, man. They need help. Literally, no, no, you're speaking real on that. Literally, they, they they need help from a mental aspect. They need help from a physical aspect. Getting them off of drugs, mm -hmm. all the, you know, what I'm saying all of the things that hold the black community down. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that, and as a black man for the black community, as mm -hmm. a as for sure, right. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing that I'm very, very passionate about. I want right. to get my people up out this this generational 400 year curse. Cause mm -hmm. I'm so tired. Of, I'm so tired of yep. hearing about this. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, you know, it's cause we black man. Listen, the people who made Black Wall Street didn't make all that. Day. Yep. <laughs> the people that made Black Wall Street didn't make that excuse. You know what they did? They went out here and they made Black Wall Street. They grinded for it. They didn't make up excuses. That's the fucking key. The, the problem, we make up excuses. Oh, because I'm black. Oh, because this. Don't get me wrong. I mean, there is injustice, but fuck all that. Nigga, do what you do. Get, like you said, how they made Black Wall Street. They got and made Black Wall Street. They they made Black Wall Street. Nah, did it Did it come overnight? No. Oh, no. But, 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 but the thing is, Madam C.J. Walker, mm -hmm. her hair grease didn't come up out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Her the flat ironers the the uh, the the comb that yeah, they used to have to yeah. you know it took, put on the stove it and heat up that didn't just come up out of nowhere mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying like George Washington Carver oh, being yeah. a scientist yep, yep. you know what I'm saying he needs to wake up hey I made peanut butter today I did whatever he did you know what I'm saying like Shit. I I created soap like yeah, all, yeah. Of, that's, all, all exactly. of that stuff didn't just exactly. come up out of nowhere like these people literally had to sit down <laughs> and make. They had this. They, that's that's a part of our problem. Yeah, we don't like to plan. We don't like to plan. We're very impatient. Impatient, mm -hmm. and we don't read. We don't. I love we don't. Reading. We yeah. don't educate ourselves. And I ain't even gonna fake. Mm -hmm. I can't even sit up and act like I just be, be reading. Be real, man. Cause I I don't I don't read at all. Yeah, for real. I don't I don't she, sit up she and she be reading. Try to read a book, man. I love reading, bro. I try and I just I get so bored by it. Audio book. How about that? Yep, I do that every okay. trip. <laughs> okay, there you go. Hey, that's good. At least you getting information though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and a lot of my information too, it just comes from like certain things that catch my attention right you know what i'm saying yeah. like the whole that like i said with the stockpile thing mm -hmm. that caught my attention i started you know what i'm saying i started looking into it because like <laughs> actually my brother who just joined in yeah. um he does graphic designing hey he he also start he also you know does um he also does stocks yeah yeah and it just kind of helped me get to that place i'm just like oh shoot i'm like you know let me let me figure this out. I started oh, reading shit. the thing. Yeah, I started yeah. reading through them. Like, I started reading what stocks is, mm -hmm. how they work, and you know what I'm saying? I went through all, right. like, all the little bullet points that they had on stock and yeah. what it's about and what it does. 
Man, I learned so much stuff. I felt like a genius after I was done. Cause I'm like, <laughs> hey, I feel pretty good. I feel, man, I feel great. And I was doing it all while I was at work. Because I'm Word. like, man, I'm learning about stock while I'm working at my job. Oh, and that's good. I'm about to take this money eventually and throw it into this into this account. Exactly. And just get the flipping money in a minute. I'm going to turn around Word. and let it sit for so long. That's crazy. I'm going to walk away with, you know what I'm saying, a couple racks. I'll be able to Easy. Be like, Man, you know what? Easy, though, because over the years, it would grow and grow and That's grow. It. And you just got money just sitting somewhere growing. Chilling. It's chilling. And while you're out here making your other money from your other resources you got... That's how they. That's how you win. I was. I was <laughs> always told that a millionaire always has more than one income. Oh man, they say you gotta have a minimum of three. They say, man, I read a book that said minimum a minimum of three, and that's bare minimum. So yeah, that's I'm just scratching the it. that's just yeah. scratching the surface. That's just, yeah, <laughs> that's bare minimum. Like you know those people out here billionaires like Jay Z and all them, man. They money spread all over the world, man, all over the place. Man, we we don't even. I don't even want to talk about Jay. Uh-oh, I don't want to talk about Jay. Because Jay, that man, that man got so much money spread <laughs> out. This man pretty much owned the, the the uh, what's that, uh, Brooklyn Brooklyn Nets. Yeah, yeah, He, he yeah. just about owned them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now he trying to, you know, make his own basketball team. I heard, his I heard. own basketball team initiated into, uh, the, you know, the, uh, the NBA and stuff like that. Then with, you know, just being a phenomenal Artist, I respect him, man. He and, go out there and get that shit, bro. Yeah, that's what you do. He, Being a philanthropist, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Getting into politics, all of that stuff, it it matters for us black people. Not me. I ain't no politic person. I'm not man. either. I'm not either. I don't, I don't, hey, mm -mm. that's something probably, I never will probably get into. No, I'm gonna be real. I, I hear I'm about glad. it, but I don't get into it. I, I stay. I stay away. Yeah, hey, it's too I, much drama for me. Yeah. <laughs> The only thing I'll say uh -huh. is, I know, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people, a lot of young people are probably shaming me for it, but me and my wife, we didn't vote, because I'm sorry. This, I didn't vote this, either, this, this election was, I feel like, it was I'm a, saying. it was a, it was a, it was a gag. Like, it was a definite joke. Like, y'all gotta be, y'all gotta be. That's why I don't speak about politics. I didn't vote. Yeah. I didn't vote. You know, hey, get me for y'all, but hey, I, I, did, I did it. I <laughs> Whatever. Did it. People was like, what, what the fuck you mean you didn't vote? I'm like. I, I just did it. I'm, I have I'm a choice choosing, not to do it. I have a choice not to do yeah. it, and I'm definitely choosing not to because I'm not liking either one of the people that's in office. And the person that's in office for show for show now, <laughs> man, that nigga's a clown. I man. don't I don't comment on him. Yeah, no. Nah. I don't either, for real. He's for not real. allowed on the podcast, honestly. You know what? Hey, I look at it as just politics is, the president's just an image. They don't run shit. No. That's what I'm saying. I tell everybody, I look at it deeper, you know what I mean? The right. one percenters run the world. There you please, go. Please understand that. There the one go. percenters, the people that y'all will never, ever, 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 ever see. You won't see them. Life. They somewhere dumped away. They in they in a fat old yeah. house. Probably a house that they don't even need. They, they got their own party down neighborhood. <laughs> this is my neighborhood. Secluded. By themselves. That one percent do run it, man. And guess what? Half of the time, them mm -hmm. niggas are flying up in the air above our heads. No, for real. No, for real. <laughs> in planes, going, <laughs> flying back and forth, going, you know what I'm saying, going to their different little places and then going back home. I'm about sitting to be, at home. I am that one percent, y'all. <laughs> hey, claim it. I'm that one percent. Claim I, it. I already know, I already know I'm the one percent, man. Let's, go, let's get this other question in. All right, I got a few more questions, man. Uh, let me see. Oh, actually, it went away. Speak about money, actually. Don't forget, you already touched bases on that one, man. Spring or fall? Spring or fall? Yep. As a as a choice of weather? Yep. Or no, it, like, where's the way you want to answer it? In these questions I asked you, it's like, whichever way you want to answer it, bro. You think it's weather? Or, okay. Fall, spring yep. Fall. I'll, I'll probably say fall. Okay. Only because that was when my daughter was born. October. Legends are born in fall. <laughs> <laughs> October October nineteenth, two thousand sixteen. Awesome. That's what's so, up. Yeah, that that's that's when my little angel was born. Awesome. You know what I'm saying? So I I would have to say fall and too because you know once fall season hit, that's grind mode. You know it is though. You're right. You're that's, right. That's like heavy duty grind mode because at that point you like you know it's getting cold now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like everybody yeah. breaking out the, you know, breaking out the jackets yep. Yep. and you know what I'm saying, the thicker clothing. The summertime, this this for play. It is for yeah. This, this the time to play. This the time to, you know what I'm saying? Not and not play in a sense of like, oh, out here <laughs> yeah, acting stupid doing some dumb and doing shit. Dumb. Yeah, no. I'm talking about like get out here, 
and really make some moves, like get get the going dumb crazy. Cause oh, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, yeah. keep watching me. Like, oh, keep watching me, oh. like, cause this summer. Hey, all eyes on you, bro. Th this summer about to get so bananas, like you just don't even understand. That like, same shit I said, man. It's about to get so nuts. I feel it. I feel like this, this is the breakout summer, man. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. I'll be in Arizona. I'll be in Arizona in like two and a half more weeks. Word. Yeah. I'm you working out there too. No, um, we going out there uh, family purposes. We on. We thinking about yeah. relocating. So. Oh, for real? Yeah, but. That's all. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh no, that's we, good, we bro. I'm about relocating. I'm going to the West Coast too, man. Cali, man. I don't know what part yet, but definitely uh, going to West you Coast. Sure you want to move to Cali? Yes, I'm sure, man. Hundred percent. Everybody's telling me about this weather. It's gonna break it. I don't. I don't care about the price. I don't care about none of that. Uh, I ain't worried about the price, bro. You should be worried about it in a minute. Uh, California about to be its own state and own island because it's about to break off the dang planet. That's, that makes it better. I can get the fuck away. <laughs> 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 that makes it better. Shit. People are saying that, you know, hey, as long as I'm out there, man, I'm good. Hey, but you know what? Yeah. If you got a connection out there with some people, then, I mean, I, I do not shy away from it. I do. My aunt's still out there. I went there last uh, summer for a few days, man. Had oh, a great really? time still there with the fam. It was a real good time. I said, like, yeah, this is it. I'm going to go out there a few more times to actually move out there. But Yeah, we going, yeah, out, we going out there to vacay and just experience some things. Yeah. Experience something other than being in lame Ohio. I, I hate to say that, but Ohio so Damn, lame. man, don't blow down on the state. It is, but it's, it's lame, come but on. I, it's always going to be home. I there will you say go. that. It always will be home. There you go. I, it is going to be some parts about Ohio that I will, like, yeah, somewhat missed, mm -hmm. but it's very it's gonna be very shallow only because of the simple fact it's like bro I've been I been, I grew up here my whole life it's I time spent, to flee away man I spent twenty five years it's been you know what I'm saying I'm twenty five I'll be twenty six this year and Same. I spent twenty five years in Ohio and a very small part of them twenty five years have mm -hmm. I experienced other places mm -hmm. in you know in just. Our country alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've been to Louisville, Kentucky a couple times. Mm -hmm. I've been to Detroit several times. Several yeah, times. Yeah, Detroit right next to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'd have been to Jacksonville, Florida a couple times. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd have been to North Carolina way too many times. To <laughs> yeah. Uh, I finally can check off uh, Chicago, even though it was for that one day. Hey, I love Chicago, Chica man. Yeah, Chicago. I love great. it, bro. I Chicago's love Chicago. Chicago's great. At yeah. least in the city. I'll, I'll put it like that. In the city, it's good. You're right. You're right. All right. Fuck it. I love downtown Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you love Chicago. No shade, but that's my part I discovered, and I loved it out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I ain't going nowhere else. But down, <laughs> downtown, downtown Chicago is lit. Downtown Chicago is definitely nuts. I love it down there. And actually, we, me and my wife, we thinking about taking another trip back to Chicago. Man, go out there, man. Hey, matter of fact, since you about to be traveling all these places, you got any merch out, man, that got your name on it? Any shirts or anything? But I know. That is actually, I'm glad you even said that because that's yeah. the next thing that I'm going to be working on. It's an app yeah. called um, called Shirt App. Yeah. It's literally called Shirt App. Yeah, yeah. Download it on on your tablet Shirt. or on your, uh, on your phone. Yeah, yeah. And it's just a little blue square and it has a shirt on mm -hmm. it. But you literally mm -hmm. can either take your logo... Mm -hmm. And put it on there, or you can write your logo out and like the letters oh, that they have selected like on there. Mm -hmm. Man, dude, shirts are only twenty one dollars a shirt. Really? Yeah. You can get them cheaper somewhere else, bro. I, I was gonna <laughs> say, I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, especially like they charge you ten eighty a shirt. Who? Oh, this out in Toledo, man. But you gotta buy a bulk of them. You gotta buy twenty five of them. Ten dollars eighty cent per shirt. And it's no uh, design fee either for your logo. There's no design fee on this one either. Nope, man. I don't know, man. I got, I got to see. That, 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 10, that, 10, that, 10, that, that 1085, though, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, But that's a hike to drive all the way out to, to, to the... It's only an hour and 30 minutes away from here, man. It ain't too far, man. It ain't far off, for real. I'm, I'm going to keep you in contact with the guy. I'm going to give you his number. I, I was going to say, yeah, yeah. We'll have, we'll have yeah. to talk about that one because I... I I want to see like what his what his product looking yeah, like yeah. before I just jump in. He got a business, an office, and everything. He, he legit, but I'm gonna let you see if your own stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm gonna take your word for it too. Yeah, but yeah. you know, I, I want to see because that's the one thing that I do. I, I need some merch so bad. That's why I was just thinking, man. You get some merch. That's how you really, really bring yourself to another level. Yeah. 
Cause yeah. I mean, I I mean, I got I got a logo. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I got I got, got my char- logo. I got my character logo. I don't know if you've seen it on my. Yeah, Instagram. I saw it. Yeah, yep. my uh, the, actually, this one dude, his name uh, his name is Rocket uh, Illustrations, if mm. I'm not mistaken. Okay. And I found him because mm. he made a logo for a very well known. Uh, music producer named Key West. Mm, okay, okay. And Key West is a producer who has got some hits with Beyonce, with Drake. Oh, he out of here. And yeah. it's and the, and the thing is like he got some hit songs that I forgot I forgot the name of a couple of them. But even like the one song that he got with Drake, like when I seen the plaque that he got for the song that he produced for Drake, right. I looked at it and I was like going i'm like oh this nigga made that i'm like oh that's right. oh matter of fact uh, uh the What's song up? that uh that meek mill and drake did amen really that's crazy that little shout that yeah. little shout you yeah. know what i'm saying praise break type playing and then oh, added the, the eight of what yeah that's him wow yep i wasn't even hip and he made like i want to say like Five or six tracks mm-hmm. on uh, um, Big Sean's last uh, last album that he dropped. Oh, uh, I decided. Yeah. Other one, met. okay, yeah, yeah. The, uh, I think that's the last one he did where he yeah. was like on two different ends of the. Uh, uh, it was like a I decided front of a house. Purple, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep, he got like, Big Sean. Yep. Yeah, he got like five tracks on there Word. that he produced so he's out of, he's out of here man. yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, he he's he's definitely a big <laughs> yeah. dude but like you know what i'm saying i seen his like i seen the logo that he did for him and i'm like man let me hit this dude up exactly hit him up and he was like oh yeah for sure he was like um he was like yeah it'll be 40 so i was like oh i'm like all right back cool all right, all I, right. Sl- I slid him that 40 mm-hmm. and he was like it was only but so much for the first half of it and then after he like sent me like what it was gonna look like then i would pay the other half right so he sent me the first half of, he sent me like what it was gonna look like i'm like oh it's looking wrong mm-hmm. so then i sent them the rest of the money and then right. he you know he sent it back to me and i have my official logo and at that point mm-hmm. i just took it i got this little app on my phone where i can like yeah. Like if I took a picture of you, I can cut out the background from behind you and like right. put you on anything. Mm. So I took that app, cut the little back part out, and then I just centered it on another app that I got. You my- getting me hip to all these apps, man? I, bro, I'm telling you. By the time I, by the time we done with this uh, podcast, bro, like you gonna be on your. On yeah, your I'm own. about to go, man. Download every app. Yeah, put it right on here. It's, I'll show you. I'll show you the apps when we done. Like, bro, it's so many yeah. apps you can use to get your. Like, right? you don't need nobody. I've been paying people, man. Like, no, no. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, but because sometimes I need I still, cheaper weight. I, I still, I still want me like an official, official like logo, logo. That's why I did for mine. So yeah. you know what I'm saying. I'm still want to pay somebody to do that, mm. but for the most part, bro, like a lot of the stuff that you see, like the graphic stuff that yeah. that's on my. Uh, Instagram? Yeah. That's tight, man. So I paid 100 for my logos, man. Like, damn. Hey, you tripping, bro, because I could have found, like, your, your logo? Yeah. It's, 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 it's a different. It's a, it's a different couple ways I could have made your logo just by myself, and I could have just looked up the fonts that mm-hmm. I wanted to use. Like, yeah. if you wanted to keep that, like, I'm gonna know, get that, arrow, that arrow-y type, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I could have looked those up on Google, and then the app that I use, man. I literally can just click on it. Like, this, it's this one website that I use, yeah. and all I got to do is click download, and it'll pop up another screen on your iPhone mm. that'll show you, like, okay, you can add this to your, your um, open it in the app. Right. So that it'll save into the memory bank. Word. Bruh, I open up that app, boop, that font is right there. I can go into that program. Mm. Open up a whole blank page and just type out whatever. I'm about to get into that, man. I'm, look, I'm telling you, self. Because I was supporting this one girl I know. She do fire logos. You know, I just supported her business. So I was like, you know, go ahead and make me one. But now, I mean, I got you, Scott. I'm going to get a logo. But <laughs> I, I need to find something a little more inexpensive. Yeah. Inexpensive, like you just said. Yeah. It's always a cheaper route. And sometimes a cheaper route ain't always. Not always. It's not. It's not. But, you know, it. For the moment, it helps you out. It does. It does what it need. It does the job. Yeah. It does what it need to do for the moment. Yeah. Cause I ain't gonna. T- I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, 
it got to a certain it got to a certain point like I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do my logo and I kept doing it by myself mm-hmm. and I was just like man I need something and that character kind of just pushed it yeah and I, just, I just hit this other dude up because he got like he draw like actual characters like mm-hmm. he'll draw you as a character mm-hmm. like as a cartoon right and I hit him up in his DMs. I'm like, hey, yo, how much is it for, you know, uh, a character? That's right, yeah. And he was like, oh, that's 150 And I was just like, oh. But, I have to, but at the same time, I can't get mad because if that's his way of living, if, that, just if, that's, how about he, that. if that's how he make his money, that's how they do I can't it. be mad. To say, oh, okay, thank you. You know what I mean? That's keep it moving. All right, all right bet. Yeah. I, I'll hit you up with that 150 when I got 150 exactly. to drop no, on, that's some, how I feel. on some digital art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's no point. Like, can I get a little bit lower? You know what I mean? Somebody tell me a price, I would say yes, or I say, okay, you know, no, thank you. I'll get you next time. Yeah. They ain't gonna never try to catch me. How about you cut it in half or give me a discount? Can 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 I can I can I pay you like this? Now yeah. now it's certain stuff like now if you like say for instance you had a pair of Yeezys that I wanted and you was like yeah I'm getting rid of these that's when you bargain it. I hit you like hey bro you know what I'm saying can I can I hit you with some 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 payments you know what I'm saying yeah, throw yeah. you fifty here throw yeah. you fifty now you keep the shoes until yeah. I complete my payment but you know right. like, take fifty here take fifty there you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying yeah 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 other than that like man. Okay. I, I don't get mad. I just I don't I wait my I turn. I don't either, bro. You have to, man. I wait my turn in line. That's just like everybody else. It's supposed to, man. I got two more questions for you in the podcast. So everybody like this one. All right, you was trapped on the island for one year. What three albums were you listening to or mixtapes? You only get three. All right, so and shout out to my my cousin Bree Lucci because you hey. know what I'm saying. She the one that got me big, big, big hip to uh to Drake in the first place. I didn't know okay. who Drake was. Mm-hmm. Let's be let's let's be honest. Hmm, what year? Uh, Back in high school. Uh, after high school, you didn't know what Drake was. No, this was yeah. No, this was. Oh, I'm about to say, man, what? I was about to say this was probably freshman year. Okay, freshman okay. year of uh, of high school. Oh, that's understandable. She got she got yeah. me hip to Drake, and the first song that she got me hip to by Drake was brand new with him and a lot of people don't know who this is that's singing on that song so i'm gonna let y'all know it's a little secret that's omarion mm. from b2k singing brand new mm. if you ain't hip that's your fault but i just let y'all know okay. just so y'all know now what's drake album uh that was actually from a mixtape october's very own so that's when you bump on the island I would I would have to listen to that because there's uh-huh. so many uh uh say uh what's that uh say what you feel yeah uh that had it was like that little uh, I'm trying to think I'm a cover uh, to that what's the name of that uh what's the name what's the name uh Kanye it had that like Kanye West type feel to it the boom boom do. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. I'm not gonna try to make no shit. Say what you say. What you say. What you feel, bro. Okay. Go look it up. You gonna remember it because as soon as you hear that, oh that, yeah, that's that a, that's all you crash in the beginning. Mm-hmm. You are gonna be like, oh yeah, okay. I remember this song. I man, I used to rap that like bar for bar. Mm-hmm. I would go back and forth with this nigga Drake when he when I listened to that. Yeah. Uh, October's very own. Okay. What's number two? Number two. I don't know, cause see, I I would have to have some diverse music, cause I can't just listen, I can't just listen to only rap, cause that'd piss me off. For a whole year. Yeah, for, <laughs> for a whole year being trapped on the island, that piss me off. Uh, could I have like a montage album, like where it's just like a collective of music? Somebody said that before. I said, yeah, go ahead. I, I told him yeah too. So yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I would have to have a montage album of EDM. Really? Yeah, like with like Wow. Some I would I would have to have some Diplo, I would have to have some David uh Guetta, I would have to have some Calvin Harris. I gotta oh, have those I, you like that's okay. I, I fuck yeah, with that. I fuck with Diplo yeah, and Calvin Harris. I, I gotta I gotta have those that kind of music. Because right. Because it's going it would piss me off if I don't have something that's that gonna energy. like yeah, just that that wave behind it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I would definitely have to, I would have to say a, like a montage album of like some of they smash hits. Okay. Um. What else? What else? Last one. Last one. Uh. I ain't gonna lie. I probably, I, I probably have to say uh, future. 
<laughs> you gonna be out there turnt. Man, listen, Future get me right. I don't I know. know why. That's why I started laughing. I, mean, I feel it. I, I listen to Future like for uh, when he's dropping all them uh, mixtapes, every other like, month. Yeah. Man, I was stuck every morning. Definitely uh, 56 nights, man. Man. <laughs> every, I play the whole mixtape every day. Niggas not hit, bro. Niggas man. not hit. Yeah, like I, I would have to say, I would definitely have to say Future. Uh, <laughs> I would have to say a montage of his albums because Dirty Sprite 2 was nuts. Yeah, that whole uh, album was, they play every hit out here, man. Purple they, Purple Rain, uh, the mixtape, yeah. that was nuts. Yep. Uh, and for real, for real, this, this little uh, album that he just dropped. The, just dropped one? The, the, the two, well, he didn't just, just drop it, but last year he dropped a double album. It was uh, mm -hmm. R&B side to it called Hendrix. Oh, I, and, I didn't talk about And yeah, then the yeah. other one, his more like trappier, like what he usually yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. And I would have, yeah, I would have to say, yeah, okay. those three right there. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. You be about down the good ass time. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna be, man, what? All right, I'm gonna end this off on a good note, man. Last but not least, what makes a great life? What makes a great life is enjoying what you do. Mm -hmm. And not only enjoying what you do, but also being able to enjoy the people around you right surrounding yourself around people who care about you mm -hmm. who want to see you grow and not just about you but you yeah. also being able to evenly care about them i feel like a lot of times we get so lost in our day-to-day -day life that we don't take the time to the, appreciate the people that you know that love us right and that support us and i do want to say real quick shout out to my wife, my baby mama, yeah, <laughs> Taylor, I love you. Um, that, awesome. That's that's my that's my main support system right there. Hell yeah, hell like yeah. That that is my baby girl. Like she right. really has put up with a lot, a lot with me. <laughs> I didn't I didn't earn this ring with uh kicks and giggles, y'all. I didn't earn this ring with kicks and giggles. It, it took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in that relationship alone just to get it to where we are now right. and everything's not perfect but at the same time I wouldn't ask for nothing else because she always keeps me going she always keeps mm -hmm. me learning she keeps me in a place where I stay humble because mm -hmm. even in music you know what I'm saying with the little bit of name that I do have here in Cleveland you right. know my name is a lot bigger than my presence on on Instagram so mm -hmm. I don't want that to be like Right. misconstrued at all like my name is a lot bigger out in public than it yeah. is on Hell social yeah. media yep, yep. so it's like you know it always keeps me humble being able to come home to a beautiful wife and a beautiful daughter who both keep me you know going every single day right 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 even when they uh <laughs> even when they make me mad yeah and i'm pretty sure even when i make them mad but yeah that's love being able being able to share moments in music and in life with them and my friends mm -hmm. and you know my family when they are around right that yeah all of that that's awesome all of that that's a great life right there y'all definitely it's a that's a a wonderful life matter of fact i like that better that's a <laughs> wonderful life that's a wonderful life okay man well before we end this off, man, Instagram, want to get people, social media accounts, whatever, you want to let them, let them know? You already know it, man. Listen here, y'all can follow me on just about every social media platform there is out there. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Snapchat. Mm. Uh, what else I got? That's really about it. Yeah. Other than that, you know what I'm saying, uh, for Twitter and Instagram, it's going to be oh is Paris, O-H-L-A-W-D. I T S P A R I S, um, and that's on uh, that's on Instagram and on Twitter, mm -hmm. Facebook, same thing. Uh, or you can just search Patrick Watkins. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, and pretty soon I'm actually gonna be changing my Snapchat. Uh, I'm gonna be making a new one, just to Divide get rid of the old name yeah. that I did have. But for the moment, it's still. Uh, Paris Lane Prod, so P A R I S L A N E P R O D. Um and follow me on uh follow me on SoundCloud. 
at uh, soundcloud.com backslash Allah is Paris. Um, and from there, I have just about all other websites and everything else mm -hmm. where my music can be found. Okay. You can find my music on iTunes. You can find it on Spotify. And you all over. Uh, um, SoundCloud. You can find it, I believe, on Amazon Music as well. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's different. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, we, we touching all platforms. No, that's that's supposed to do it. I shit. need coins from all of you. <laughs> please, yeah. please, please, y'all. If y'all haven't listened to it, please go listen to one of my favorite songs. It's called Pretty by uh, me and my uh, cousin, OK Shea. Mm -hmm. It is on iTunes and Apple Music. So if you don't want to necessarily buy it, yes, there is a free way of listening to it. But um, also go on my uh, go on my SoundCloud. Please click likes um, and share the music that's on my SoundCloud. I have several songs that are out right now. I got a song called uh, "Going" with uh, King Germ. Shout out to my homie King Germ and. Uh, one of my first female artists up hey. under my belt, uh, Miss Nikiana. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to them too. Um, and then I also have another track with King Jerm as well mm -hmm. called Falling in Love featuring uh, Chapo. He's a very big uh, right. artist on the on somewhat of a platform. Yeah, you that's cool. Yeah. Uh, and then I also have a song out with um, with one of my homies named Trap, and mm -hmm. he has two songs. Mm -hmm. I actually ended up being song one and two on his uh, on his mixtape called Goat. <laughs> hey. And uh, song uh, the first song is called Blitz, and the second song is called Dope House. So if you want, you know, copies of that, I'll uh, make sure I put the information out there so y'all can, you know. Get y'all hands on that music, but yeah, please, man, please go follow me, like, share, subscribe, all of that good social media stuff. Go do all of that, all of that. That's it. You got yeah. you like you told him. Y'all heard that he he dropped out everything for y'all. Yeah, everything. I like that. Everything. That's so, good. He's supposed to man. Y'all don't have no reason not to go follow me, and if you do, you like. No excuses. None. Y'all heard everything from details. Like, I, I didn't know. And I heard everything. Everything. As a matter of fact, even if you go on my Instagram right now, I have a website now. Oh. Where everything is up. I have okay. a... Okay. Yeah, for us, uh, oh Lord is Paris dot I think the website yeah. is called like a dot universe thing. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. One I got of them, you. It's one of them apps. I have to show you that too so you can get hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your website come next to me too, man. So yeah, so it, this one is a quick little mobile one, so you can just. That's why I just did them quick. I ain't nothing, nothing too extra right now. Yeah, yeah. No, trust me. Okay. It's, I'll show you. Bet. I'll show you right now. Bet. Fact. Okay. Yeah, but everybody go follow me on Instagram too. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because I definitely got way more content coming. I have okay. another female artist. I can't speak too much on it, but hey. I got another female artist that I'm about to lock up under my belt. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I just got more work coming. All right. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned. And this is uh, Lavish Journeys. Hey. My man, Lavish. Shout out to Oh Law, this Paris. Much love, bro. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank Hell you yeah. so much for having me. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for watching Life's Journey podcast where we inspire, create, and spread greatness. We out of here. Peace. Post a picture real quick. I'm just going to screenshot at the end. Screw it. Yep.